It always bothered me whether numbers are rational or irrational. In plain English, they mean numbers that make sense versus numbers that don't make sense. What's more strange is why the ratio of two integers is used as a standard to tell if numbers make sense or not. In this video, I'm going to show you that essentially this dry math criteria is connected to a more profound question: Can we know the world? Say we want to find out the length between two points. We will do measurements using some standard unit of measurement. We apply it for a certain number of times until the length is fully covered. The number of times would be the measurement. But there is no guarantee that the length will always fall perfectly onto integer units. That's okay. We can divide it into smaller units. Say divide it into m1 subunits. But still, the endpoint might not line up perfectly, so we can keep dividing each interval into smaller ones, say n2 units. So now we have a total of n1 times n2 units. If it still doesn't fall into perfect intervals, we can keep dividing until it perfectly fits. Say it takes k rounds, so that means The ruler has been divided into a product of these k integer units. Since all of them are integers, so the product will still be an integer, say n units. Now, if we do the reading, because the endpoint lines up perfectly on the smallest unit, we could have say m units. So that means the unknown length will be m over n of the known length. We would think that any length can be measured this way, by keep dividing into smaller and smaller units until the perfect fit. Then we can take the reading, and the length would be expressed as a ratio of two integers. So if the length is measurable, then the measurement should be a rational number. But are there any lengths that can be measured this way? Greeks found one. If you have a right triangle with both sides of one unit of length. The hypotenuse is some length x. According to Pythagorean theorem, x squared would be two. Now, if this length can be measured, then it could be expressed as a ratio of two integers. So, how do they figure out this length can't be expressed as a ratio? Suppose we can, after simplification. Write the length as a ratio of p and q, where p and q are integers with no common factors. That means the square ratio is two. So p square equals to twice q square. Hence, p square is an even number, which means p is even, because if it's odd, then square of it will still be odd. Then this p square has a factor of four, which means q square is also even. Hence, q is also even. These two conflict with our assumption that they don't have any common factors. So, if we start with the initial assumption, going through logical reasoning each step, only to arrive at conclusion absurd. The only possibility is that the initial assumption is wrong, so that means we can't express it as a ratio of two integers. Hence, this length, square root of two, is an irrational number. If you keep thinking about it, the more disturbing conclusion occurs. Being measurable is related to being a rational number, so if it's irrational, then it means it can't be measured. So if it's irrational, then it means it's unmeasurable, because how can it be measurable if you can't even quote how many units it occupies? It has nothing to do with how you do the measurement. Hence, eventually, irrational numbers mean something unmeasurable. But measurement is our critical tool to know the world. So if the length is unmeasurable. That means it's unknowable. A length of square root of two can be approximated with greater and greater accuracy, but you never know exactly what it is. Each decimal place is unpredictable until you actually compute it. 
but how come we see the length exists in front of us, yet there is no way of knowing? It reminds me of the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics, which says that the essential property of an electron, its position and momentum, or simply velocity, can be known precisely. It's pretty interesting that both math reasoning and physics seem to suggest that the world can't be known precisely.